This is my research on birds. So this piece of research is about how birds fly in formation as it's a big part of Wonderland. Well, yeah, that which I think so. So we're going for this idea which birds fly in a triangle. You can see this in Raven's Dance, choreographed by Jess. And the first years have a dance, um, which we called the birdie dance. And they run around in a circle like a flock of birds. It's beautiful. So um, I've looked at like GCSE pages for this because it's something that's sometimes in science lessons and I remember it being like being in like I always used to talk about it with like the girls after college just because like you'd see them flying in formation and basically you have this bird called the Mowo you have no you have this wave called the Mowo wave Mowo wave and this like is really well researched apparently loads of people talk like know about it especially bird watchers and what happens is you have the bird at the front who is most typically the fastest bird and then on the end you have the stragglers and apparently as the birds fly you will um you can see them moving so well not as they moving but you can see the ones on the end will be pushed up by the ones at the front yeah that's the way it works so the ones at the back are normally the slower ones or injured so they like get pushed up by everyone else's so as they're moving so say you're in a line and you're at the you say you're running and the person at the back is probably the slowest because you have to be the fastest to be at the front to get quick enough to go round so they put the slower slower birds or injured birds at the back and what they do is they flock in waves so they'll go up and down so this when they go down the it gives them more pressure to go up and makes it faster so that's really interesting to look at uh, it's called a um well, they say it's a it's a sp spread throughout the flock in a wave, um, which I think is really interesting. Um, yeah, it's called the Moova wave. Um, so the bird at the back is the slowest. So in our dance, um, well, in ravens, you have a triangle. So you have Emily at the front, and then you have the thing. And yeah, that definitely looks like the Mawawa like wave look. Um, I suppose as you move out, you can see it like tilting and moving. So that's quite cool that like you can relate so much to that. Um, in the first years dances, I get the. I get the understanding of the Moel wave because you've got Ashton at the front and the slower people come in, like join in as he goes round so they don't do it for as long so they don't get as tired so you can like it's definitely relatable like especially within dance like if someone's really good at something you'll put them on at the front and if they're struggling a little bit or finding it a bit hard you'll put it at the back so this has definitely gone into my research as within a piece you put the stronger one at the front and not so strong ones at the back. So, in a way, the birds are adapting to their surroundings with it. A thing that I found really interesting with the birds is how they use air pressure to go up and down. So you can say the same thing about us when we're running. Like, the faster you run, the more air pressure you feel, the more, like, wind you make. The same with the birds. The more they fly and the more they swoop, the more pressure you're going to get and the more, well, for them, the faster they're going to go. Especially the ones at the back because they're getting everyone else's, so they're getting like scooped up. Um, <clears throat> Apparently, birds move in unison. So I never thought about this like thing, but sometimes like if you're watching birds, you can see them moving. Like so, one will move and then another one will move. Um, yeah. So I would say birds are quite they like dancing because we all we move in unison or in canon. So, like, so it's kind of the same thing for a bird. Like, if you're flying together, you all fly in unison. So, you get the, you get the movement of the bird. Which is, like, it's stronger. So, yeah. Um, so, it, it says in my research that I have written down that birds do not f fly uh follow they don't just follow a leader they follow their neighbor so 
what I mean by that is if you're next to someone, you're going to follow their lead, you're not going to go off by yourself, you're not going to shoot off, but you're also going to follow one significant person. So in Ravenstars, Emily's at the front and you follow her, but I stand next to Kimberly. So if Kimberly was to move, I would move with her to do the exact same action, to be in unison. And then if we were to be in canon, we'd all start from Emily and move backwards. So we are representing how birds move, not only follow a leader but they follow a neighbour so I think I've applied that to my dancing and also researching this I understand this more and I feel that by researching this I'm a much stronger performer when it comes to the bird like motions especially because it's such a big part of Wonderland you can see that I've researched it and I've looked